Not really, you're still inside. The only difference is, is that it's hot as balls outside. But if you're not sweating into your sawdust, are you really building anything? Anyway, two days ago, three days ago? Anyway, two or three days ago, I posted a photo to my Bar Builder Instagram, at the Bar Builder if you care, uh, of a couple of wine racks that I made. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I make these monsters. They take about three sheets of plywood. They have about 214 individual pieces. It's mostly wood glue and brad nails and a couple of screws um, and a lot of repetitive cuts. So a lot of this video is going to be in time lapse because they, they take about 20 to 30 hours to put together entirely. Anyway, let's get to it. All right, we're starting here with the kind of annoying and simple stuff, breaking down plywood. Uh, what I do for most of this is that um, instead of trying to push this thing through the table saw sideways, which I have tried to do, doesn't work very well, is uh, started clamping a straight edge, um, accounting for the offset of my skill saw, uh, which is about an inch and a half, and then getting those strips. And then once it's small enough that I feel comfortable pushing it through the table saw, just because it's a little bit more accurate and a little bit nicer, um, I'll actually push it through. So I'm just breaking it down into all of its components, um, 15 ribs in total, and then the top and bottom plate, and then a bunch of cleats, which you're going to see me cutting in a second here. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of, a lot of plywood to break down, man. It's like three full sheets by the time we're all said and done. So there's just a lot of time spent milling around and cutting stuff. And now we're on to the single most repetitive part of this project, which is cutting the cleats. The cleats are the things that the, the wine bottles actually sit on uh, when they're on their side. So they're like an inch and a quarter uh, wide. And what I did was I actually just clamped a, a stop block to my crosscut sled on the back um, and then just made a ton of cuts. Each one of these wine racks requires 196, um, which sounds like a lot because it is, and it feels like a lot. And even watching this now, it looks like a lot because my two shop mates are just milling around doing all kinds of other stuff while I'm literally standing here pushing wood back and forth through a table saw. The interesting part is that you can actually see the pile of cleats getting bigger and bigger and bigger, which starts to feel a bit satisfying, but again, it's just so repetitive. You just gotta put a podcast in and go for it. So once you got all your pieces ready and you've got all of your vertical ribs ready and you've got all your cleats cut, uh, you can sort of get to the more fun part where you're um, gluing and brad nailing the cleats into place. The way that I tried to expedite this for myself was I made a spacer block. Um, I wanted these things five inches apart and I basically just took a piece of three quarter inch ply, um, work the offset to be the thickness of a sheet of plywood, and then just, you know, put it on the piece, little strip of glue, couple of brad nails, it'll hold it just fine. And as you can see, we're on to the next day, because this really does take a while, man. Like, you're standing there just shooting nails and trying not to go insane, but you know, by the time you're done, you put this whole thing together, it's actually quite satisfying. So it's very much of the same. Get your spacer in place. Just try to keep everything straight. Double check with a square every once in a while just to make sure um, that you're on the right track and that these things are lining up properly. And uh, yeah, just keep going for it. And then once you get to this point, this is the edge banding. So you actually have to edge band all of these. I only showed you one of them because, you know, frankly, who cares? But it's one long strip and then a bunch of little tabs, 14 per rib, essentially, and there are 15 of them. So yeah, just stick it on. If you've never used iron on edge banding, it's super simple. You just get an iron hot, turn the steam off, you know, stick it down, make sure that it sticks and then just cut off the excess and then hit it with a little sandpaper just to make it smooth. So after all of that edge banding, we now have many, many, many pieces stacked together. We're gonna to take them into the paint booth. 
and we're gonna give him some finish. So I didn't really address this, but this is our new workshop. This used to be a mechanics shop, which is really cool for a couple of reasons. One, they have a giant compressor uh, that runs everything. Um, so the entire place is like plumbed in for air tools. So of course I bought an HPLV gun, high pressure, low velocity, and filled it with some water-based poly and just sprayed everything down and it was super simple and I'm really happy to have it. Now it's time to take all of that hard work that you did, cutting cleats and nailing them in place and getting them spaced properly and actually sticking it all together. Um, you get your top and bottom plate. Um, I made another spacer, four and a quarter inches, uh, and then just get everything marked in with a square and a pencil, shoot three screws into it, and get the whole thing together. And this is more what I'm talking about um, when I say that this used to be an old mechanic shop. Actually, this table, and I use that in air quotes, is actually an old car lift, which is really, really rad. Um, so you can raise and lower your piece as you need to and it's super, super helpful. And this is just sort of what it looks like when it's all strapped together. And this is what it looks like installed. Uh, I just painted the outside white. It's actually a, a color called Swiss coffee. And this is it without wine bottles. And this is it pretty much full of wine bottles. Each one of these will hold um, 118 bottles if you sort of stack it all the way to the bottom. And Here's a, a glam shot of just our entire wine lineup in the bottle shop. I think it turned out really great. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.